Good morning. That sound is the water pump. That sound is the water pump because we are doing some washing. It's so still, loud. Still trying to get used to having a washing machine on the boat. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> Monday morning. This is the office. The office is trashed. This is usually the big camera. Nick, big camera. Nick, Nick's Nick, taken to using the, the baby camera. <laughs> He's like this, I can handle. <clears throat> anyway, today we have got, uh, I think, an upwind sail towards Kachang. Yeah, Kachang. Kachang, Kachang, Kachang. All right. Chang 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 la lamp da That's the way it should be. Wow, yeah. But you had such a good mood this morning. I'm on film. When the camera goes up, I'll just be a miserable shit again. <laughs> Let's go. All right, come on us. Anchor up. trying a different technique for raising the main where Nick uh, stands at the winch his foot on the button hang on okay and then I helm from this helm from the port helm so that we're next to each other we have good communication hopefully Nick can see the sail in its entirety but there is one person just focused on actually keeping the boat to wind with let's see how we go Ready now? 18 degrees All right, get the boat to win with love. Turn to port. Turn to starboard. We're up. Yep. Might need some adjustment. For the love tension, but hang on a second. Go back and check the love tension. Yep, she's fine. You guys good? How was that for you? Was that good for you? Because it was for me. Yeah, so basically, uh, the, the side that you start raising it on, so basically, if the sail is to port, you yeah. need to finish it to port because of the topping lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I realised as we got up there that actually the topping lifts. Yeah. Is on the other side of the uh, yeah. boat. It's on the starboard, so we can't. Like, All right, love. I'm going to just get the uh, get the halyards sorted out. Yeah. Okay, that went fairly well. How did you find that, Nick? Was that okay? Yeah, it's getting more refined. Yeah, getting more refined. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. I'm Teresa, this is Nick, and this is Ruby Rose 2, our floating home. Join us as we settle into life on board our brand new catamaran, documenting our adventures and never shying away from the reality of boat life. Subscribe to our channel and leave a comment because we love to hear from you and a big thanks to our community of patrons. All right, this is the first time we've done the overdrive thing with both sails up. We have done it with the, just the main up, but not with the main and jib. But it is more fuel efficient and it does give us a little bit more speed. You can see out there, babe, there's loads of white cuts out there between the islands. We've just got wind on the nose at the moment. Uh, so we're hoping that as we get out from this island, then the wind, we're hoping the wind's kind of just funneling around the island. And then when we get out between the islands, it will come further back and we'll get a point of sale. That's the plan, that's the hope. Fingers crossed. All right, we've had to uh, fill the jib in, unfortunately, because we've just lost the wind. We're about 22 degrees and the jib was flapping all over the place. So we're just under main and engine at the moment. And we've got about 27 miles to go. So we're hoping to pick up a little bit of boat speed because we're only doing four and a half knots. It's gonna be a long old day, unless we can get a little bit more wind or the wind can come round a little bit. It's turned into a bit of an upwind bash, just powering through a little bit of chop. Not too bad. Sunny day, but a slow day. Uh, it's a bit like a there. 
Yeah, it's the kind of like boxed in between a tidal gate uh, and a wind angle that is just shy of where we need to be. And like literally, so we've got tide pressing through here. So we're punching a little bit of tide. That's giving us a chop. You'll see the boat bouncing around a little bit more. We have to take this course. Uh, we could have gone around the outside of the island, but it would have added another two hours to our course. So what we're doing is we're punching one, we're punching through at about 1900 revs on one engine. Are we in Yeah, we should be. Uh, I can feel the vibration through the seat, I'm just making that assumption. And then I think in about two miles, we'll clear that island. And as soon as we've cleared that, we can take a 20 degree turn to port. That will give us 40 degrees apparent based on where we are now. Now what that will do is it will drive the boat forward. We will sheet in hard on both, or sheet in appropriately on both, cut the engine and should be able to get down 40 degrees. Uh, the apparent wind is 18. The true wind at the moment is 15. So we should at 40 degrees be able to generate a little bit of wind. We'll bring the wind forward a bit. Hopefully we'll get six to six and a half knots for the last of this, but we've got to, we've, we've got to punch this tidal gate. Can't bear away, can't harden up. It might be a bit breezy and we might be punching into tide and wind at the moment and also a little bit of chop, but at least the sun's out. It's good to see the sun again and it is a beautiful day. Times like this, it's nice to be on the water regardless. And I have to say, we're settling right into sailing on a catamaran. We've gotten very used to how easy and comfortable it is when you're under sail, even when the conditions aren't good. Because if we were in a monohull or Ruby Rose right now, we would be on quite the lean. We would be really heeled over, bashing into the wind, bashing into the waves. But this boat is just so comfortable, especially when you're sat at those helm seats. Even if the boat is bucking around, kind of going into swell like this, you know, you are still very, very stable and very, very comfortable, which is one reason we love those helm seats. We chose this boat because, well, partly because of the helms, because we love those twin helms in the center of the boat with all the protection and we talked a lot about how the limitation is the issue, the visibility to the sail, particularly when you're putting sails up or out or in or down. Um, but, you know, you find workarounds to those kinds of things. And yeah, the helm seats just definitely met our expectations as far as comfort underway goes. Okay, I'm gonna go back before I get wet. It's quite nice up there. Yeah, it is but a brief uh, interlude. We've got, I think, about, mm, let me see, seven miles on this course, and then we have to go back to another course. I mean, we could probably pinch up a little bit, but at 42, it's as good as you're gonna get. Yeah. So yeah, you've got about an hour under sail, then we'll go back to motor sailing, unless the wind shifts. We don't, we're coming into the land. We can live in hope. We can live in hope. Oh, this is better. I tell you what, if I didn't have to film, I'd probably never come up here, but this is one of the nicest places to be on the boat when, uh, especially when we're sailing along comfortably, it is glorious. It's so much quieter than the cockpit and it's just beautiful. It's just nice to be out here with these be beautiful big black sails up. They are just marvelous. And as I said, we're doing about eight knots. I'm not sure what the wind is. I think probably about, uh, I had to guess, probably about 16, 17 knots. I'm sad that we're leaving this archipelago so soon, but unfortunately we have to start making our way back to Pattaya. Uh, we've just not had nearly enough time in this beautiful part of the world. We have to go back to Pattaya for some kind of obligations that we've had for a long time. And we're very clear that we would have to block out this time and not be on the boat. And unfortunately just the repairs to the main sail in particular uh, were delayed, um, getting that sail back to China and then back to Thailand and yeah, it just took longer than anyone had anticipated. So unfortunately we didn't get back to the boat as, as quickly as we were hoping, um, which is a shame. All right, we are doing a very pleasant nine knots. We have, without apparent wind speed, 19 knots at an angle of 65 degrees apparent. How very, very satisfying. 
and we're just sailing up the coast of Koh Chang at the moment. My hair is uh, very windswept, as am I. And we have how much further to go, Nick? Only another five miles. So we'll come screaming in and we'll be in uh, by early afternoon. That's nice. How nice. Just about to drop the anchor. It's good to be back actually. Go back a little bit. Okay, now you can pay it out. We've got 40 out, okay. Train's going straight out in front. I think we're holding. Yeah, the train's just coming straight out of the water. Looks still to me, so. Oh God, it's hot today. <laughs> it is so hot and I don't have a hat on. There we go, that's what we want to see. Got a bit of swell coming in. Well done, I took a transit, we weren't going anywhere, so. Uh, yeah, speed zero. Okay. Oh God, it's so warm. Are you in the water already, Nick? Yep. Okay. Oh my word. God, that feels good. All right, I'm gonna take you for a little lap around the boat. Isn't she beautiful? Aren't we lucky? Very grateful. beautiful anchorage very very happy to be here wish we could stay longer but unfortunately we're heading back to Pattaya which um, I'm disappointed about but anyway it is what it is so we're off in next week's episode uh, sailing back towards Pattaya it's a two-day sail again so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you can hear any kind of creaking in the background that's just Nick bringing that anchor up what a good boy Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying our sailing videos and give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you next week where we are heading back towards Pattaya via what I think is gonna be a bit of a hectic upwind passage. Hopefully not too hectic. Okay, see you next week. Take care, bye-bye.